Hi everyone, welcome to Prefer Her Tarot. Well, I love to see that you prefer me. We're about to get into a reading for the sign of Scorpio. Remember that the readings are in general. All of the messages will not resonate with everyone. If you guys would like to get a personal reading with me, all of my information is down below. Let's get into this reading, Scorpio. What messages do you have for the sign of Scorpio for now until the 24th of December 2020? Come on now, we have the double card. Something may be tempting you, testing you. There may be a, an obsession okay some addictions i don't know what's happening here it could be a capricorn involved in this situation scorpio we have the page of pentacles someone may be offering you something trying to offer you something that's really no good for you maybe something that you're working on that um, it may be some negative energy surrounding you trying to get you to stop keep going P king of pentacles someone's tired of their okay it could be um, a testy situation when it comes down to your work environment, like the boss, the king of pentacles in reverse is someone who's like very materialistic. Um, it could be someone who is ungrounded, not loyal, mm -hmm, uncommitted, nine of wands. Someone's ready to give up on this energy. It could be, a, I already said Capricorn or Taurus or Virgo. More messages for the sign of Scorpio. What card can okay? There it is. King of Wands energy. This is um all right, I'm gonna just say it. It this is some toxic masculine energy so far. So yeah, um this could be you or someone that you're dealing with. King of Wands energy. Aries Leo Sagittarius going after something, going after what you want. The king, the the uh, world card at the bottom of the deck, you this is learning a lesson about something or someone, closing this cycle, closing this uh, temptation, or this toxic energy, toxic cycle, I should say. More messages for Scorpio, the four of wands in your home, your commitment, your commitments, your foundation, things that you've built on. There could be like... Um, Attesting your relationship, family, household, five of cups. It could be an um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy that's not really happy. Manifesting. Someone's trying to manifest sadness. Whether you realize it or not. This is like someone talking bad about someone. Another person or situation that they probably know nothing about. More messages for the sign of Scorpio. I don't see you here just yet. We have the two of pentacles um, going back and forth. Weighing their options. Weighing your options. Three of swords. Someone's hurt and heartbroken. Someone's offering um, of immaturity. Offering. Offer of immaturity is causing heartbreak and pain. <sighs> Judgment. Someone needs to make a decision about something. Someone is playing with the devil. Two of swords. Indecisiveness. Not wanting to see the truth. Not, not wanting to accept the truth. Someone is spending, spending obsessively on something that's not good for them. It's like money going down a drain. Five of swords. A fight. Argument. And when it's, and when it's brought up, it, there's an argument. Someone may may lie about about it, or may not adjust. They may not um, accept the truth about it, so they're lying to themselves. Um, we have the death card that you are finally, and uh, we have the uh, two of cups, the star card, renew hope and faith. And this could be balancing a relationship, though. Still, renew hope and faith in a connection. Someone coming to help. Could I heard it could be therapy. The death card here underneath the, the King of Wands, I feel like this is your, going to be you taking action, going through a transformation, going through a change within yourself to connect or reconnect. Accepting some truths that may not have one, that you may have not wanted to see or look at. What's the devil card? What's the devil card? Someone could be ending a relationship, though, with the death card and the two of cups. But I feel like that's more of a change in the relationship, a transformation in the relationship. We have the ten of, ten of swords closing out this painful cycle. Yeah, so you are, you guys are being tested and tempted in order to close out a painful uh, cycle. Something that's constantly happening and a person is holding on to it, thinking that it's going towards success. 
or holding holding themselves back from success. What's the King of Pentacles in reverse for Scorpio? We have the Three of Pentacles building, working on this, working on um, the com uh, um, a commitment, working on becoming grounded. Someone could be lying. I want to say someone's not being truthful about what they're working on. The Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Someone may be taking action and moving on from lies and deception. Clarify the King of Wands. The Seven of Wands creating boundaries towards this energy so it's either an Aries Leo Sagittarius that may be blocking someone or you're blocking this energy um, or you're taking action and, and blocking someone out or this is someone that haven't feeling like they need to defend themselves against someone this is someone defending themselves at work someone is someone isn't being treated right treated right at work someone didn't even notice it at some point in time someone was busy working while there was a hater involved for whatever our reason, I see that. Clarify the four of wands. Someone was trying to keep a person from like um a higher position. Put position. A higher position. Position. <laughs> uh, someone was keeping trying to keep a person from promotion. Um, yeah, same thing. Queen of Cups on top on top of the four of wands is um, a person following their intuition about uh, a relationship, a new beginning in a relationship, in a connection, someone thinking about moving to um, a new environment. What's the what what's the two of pentacles? We have the seven of seven of pentacles. Waiting, pulling, pulling back. Someone's going back and forth on if they if they should um I heard resign. Yeah. Someone think someone's thinking about resigning. But they're being called to do so. You're being called to do so. You're being called to do... Okay, let me not say that because someone going to be like, wait, hold on. Look, you do what what's best for you, right? So someone is being called to pull back from a situation, going back and forth on if they ha have what it takes in order to be independent, self-sufficient after letting something go. So someone's been, oh, you know what else I'm getting? That someone's been working on something or, or at a, like, a job and you're not you're not being fulfilled you, and you haven't got, gotten to this King of Pentacles energy. You know why? Ooh, hold on. I'm just the messenger. Source is like, this is the reason why you're being tested and tempted. Because a, a situation that you're in, trying to build, trying to work it out, trying to get to this success, trying to get to this, um, this, um, being able to provide for not only for yourself, for others, being of success and of abundance in this particular um, situation is not working. It's not working. It's not working. And I really feel like this is more like of a um more like working for someone. For some yeah, this is working for um another an, an entity. And um while you trying to come up in a situation, it's like people trying to tear you down. This it's the, the energies of trying to be um tore down. Honestly, what I feel, what I, what I really feel is going on. So she's trying to guide you to being self-sufficient in your own boss, creating something from within. Like I, you gotta, you have a gift or something. Because clearly you're working on something, whether it's in this industry or what you're working on something, you have something to work with. Look, I can't make it up. The higher fan. And the, um, the, uh, what's that? The world card, you. It's, it's like you're being called. It's like a spiritual guidance to close out a cycle, to learn lessons in the situation and let go. What's the two of swords? We have the uh, five of wands. Fights. A battle. Not seeing the battle. Not seeing the competition. Not seeing that people are battling battling with you instead of, uh, they're, they're bat battling against you. Instead of with you, you know what I'm saying? Like, are you really? You're not even fighting for me, homie. Like, where were you? Where are you? Anyways, um, what's the death card? You just want success. 
This is all you've been thinking about, praying about, right? What's the death card? Ten of Pentacles. So, so, there's going to be some type of change and transformation within your um, family. What you're investing into. Your energy, time, or whatever. Or where you are trying to create this abundance here. It's still possible. It's possible because times are changing. It's time for you to take off and use the energy around you. What's the two of cups here? The king of cups, controlling your emotions. Yes, because something is resurfacing, Scorpio. Something from the past that you like to do. That 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 you like that you enjoy doing. It, it brings that innocence within you up to the top. You may help children, maybe children involved or something like that. The Queen of Wands here. This is something that you're manifesting, that you're creating in life. It's for you for you to move on. Away from last deception and receive some peace of a peace of mind. Okay? Let me see what this Ten of Pentacles is about here. Came out quickly. Thank you. We have the Page of Cups. Um, yes, a, a new opportunity to do what you like to do. To do what you love. To follow, um, to get a connection back together. With a king and a queen of cups. To balance yourself out once again. To bring in this peace. To celebrate this brand new beginning. Learning how to be happy. <laughs> Even in the midst of darkness. So this is more of you being balanced. Like someone going to be working at night. Like you up at night working, everyone else asleep or whatever. Um, let's get a message from the Goddess Power Deck, Scorpio, and I'm out of here. More messages for the sign of Scorpio. have the sign of Scorpio here on this spread please and thank you make it very clear what message do you have for the sign of Scorpio on top of this spread I'll take it Sophia divine wisdom Aphrodite romantic love at the bottom of the deck I feel like this has something has something to do with the relationship but let's see what Sophia has to say to you guys number 48 Oh, right up to it again. Come on now. Um, human wisdom comes from personal experience. Excuse me. Human wisdom comes from personal experience, but divine wisdom is unknown to our life experience. When we ask for help, we are asking for guidance from a source greater than us, a great, a great unknowable mystery. When we, re when we receive it, it is often life-altering and affects us in ways beyond our comprehension. The Gnostic goddess Sophia, who brought the material world into being, arrives to you, arrives to show you how fate and destiny operates in relationships, relationship to synchronicity. When you least expect it, opportunities and meetings spring up as if out of nowhere. Your life begins to work out and you sense your all your alignment, alignment with a higher purpose and power. Trust you are divinely protected and directed. Practice and Practice the act of faith before results. This is an essential key in co-creating your world. This is an essential key for co-creating your world. That was your reading, Scorpio. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments. If it resonated, how it resonated, leave a like, share all of that good stuff. I love y'all, love y'all, love you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.